Hi and welcome back. Okay, today the wigs I wore in January. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe and follow me along here on my wig journey. And every month I have a short little series that I do, the wigs I wore in the previous month. And I show you a few of the styles that I wore during the month. And so today, that's one of these videos. Now, again, if you have seen this before, you know this is not a wig review of all these wigs. I've already reviewed them all. Now, this is Scorpio PM. I have reviewed this wig. However, I have not reviewed this color yet, but I'm going to. If you want to see full reviews of these wigs, just expand that drop-down box below this video, and there will be links there to all the reviews of all these wigs. Like I said, I've already done it, so we're not going to do that again today. It's just a quick, fun video of some of the wigs I chose to wear in the month of January, but I do have full reviews on this that have all the information like cap construction, specs, styling, indoor-outdoor video, everything you need to know. Okay, let's get started and see what wigs did I wear. Like I said, this is Renee of Paris. This is Scorpio PM, and the color is Tomato Bisque. Look at this color. It's a fashion color, of course, and I think it's so fun. I like these red shades. As you know, you know, I started my wig journey wearing only short blonde pixies. And I still do. However, as I got more comfortable with wearing wigs, I started wearing longer wigs, different color wigs, and I found out, guess what? I love red wigs. And now I'm on a mission to try as many red wigs as I can because, you know, I promised you last year I was going to show you every style, color, cut that I could find because, and believe me, I know they all don't look good on me. You don't have to tell me. I know. That's not the point of my channel. My channel is about you and what you might look for, what you might be considering. If you want to see all the details of a wig, even though it might not be for me, it might be exactly what you've been looking for. So that's what this channel is about, not about me and what I think looks, looks good on me. It's about you. But these are the wigs that I've enjoyed this last month, and this is definitely one of the wigs that I have in multiple colors, Scorpio PM. It has a lot of movement. It's just a straight bob. Now, there is permatees in this wig. As you know, a lot of these Renee Paris wigs have a lot of permatees. I'm all about permatees. Now, if you don't like it, mm -mm, this is probably not for you because it definitely is running through this wig. Now, I also use my hot air brush on the bangs of this wig. I have a whole video about the hot air brush and which one I use and how I use it. I'll link all that below here as well. But this is just one I thought you might want to have a look at. Like I said, I'll be doing a review of this color coming up, so stay tuned for that. Just a quick look at this cap of Scorpio PM. I wanted you to see that with the lace front into this mono part. And look at all these different colors. You can see how the colors are blended here. That is so cool, I think. And as you can see, how it's highlighted on the top. I really, really like this wig. All right, let's move on to something else. I will show you now. This is a wig I had kind of pushed to the back of my closet in the last couple months. I have I keep reaching for it. I keep pulling it out and I keep putting it on. This is Ellen Villa Flirt in Calm or Rooted. It's like I've rediscovered it and it is such a good wig. Just letting you see the cap, lace front, extended lace front, mono part. This color is Calm or Rooted. Let me grab a comb. Okay, so like I said, I've rediscovered this wig. I don't think this wig gets enough love. I may do a revisit video on this because I think it's that good. Low density, straight, beautiful style, easy to wear. And I don't have a mirror in the back, so I don't know, but we'll just do the best we can. This is a beautiful color, I think, from Ellen Villa. It's wearable. The roots are not too dark. All these different shades of blonde. It just works. You can wear this behind your ears. 
you can pin it up off your face because it has this gorgeous lace front. There's just a lot you can do with this one. Ellen Villa Flirt. That's part of the Changes collection from Ellen Villa. All right. I want to run through these pretty quickly. Like I said, we're not doing a review, so they're easy to just kind of pull out of the box and show you. Oh, well. Another one, I just, you know, we have our wigs we just reach for, right? That are kind of staples in our wardrobe. This is Beltress Miss Macchiato Butterbeer Blonde Heat Friendly Fibers. They do require a little more maintenance. We know that. Lace front, mono part, open wefted. Another one that I have in several colors. Now, Butterbeer Blonde is just a beautiful blonde, ashy blonde, cool blonde with this darker root. And just this style, I think, is so wearable for a lot of face shapes. It has this long bang in the front and it just falls beautifully with these soft waves. Just another really wearable, beautiful style. Like I said, these heat-friendly fibers are so pretty. Now, I use my hot, air, my hot air brush on this one also just to keep the ends fresh. If I really need to add some heat, of course, I would use a curling iron for that. However, just for freshening this up in between those times, I will use a hot air brush on the ends. But what a beautiful silhouette on this wig. Miss Macchiato in Butterbeer Blonde. Okay, let's see what we got next. Y'all, I keep my wigs in their original boxes. I know there's a lot of ways people store their wigs, but for me, it's just easier. I take, I take really good care of my wigs. I take them off. I brush through them with a wide tooth comb. I put some detangling spray on the ends if I need to, and then I store them in their original boxes. Okay, Gabor. I love Gabor fibers. This is all the best. And this color is Mocha, which is GL1214. Has a mono top, an extended lace front, open wefted. This is a pretty color, Mocha. I know a lot of people like, like this shade. This is a short style, which, of course, you know, I'm all about that too. But I like this one because it has some length on the top. And you can do some more styling with this when you have a little more length. Because you could pull this off your face. Because it has that lace front. You can really get it up and off your face. If And I like that. I like to wear it that way. However, if you want to sweep it over and wear it more sleek with a bang, you can do that as well and kind of have this whole side swept look, which is cute, is, I think, as well. So it has some versatility, even though it's a really short style. I find myself in the cooler weather reaching for a lot of these shorter styles to wear with uh, turtlenecks and things that I don't want my hair to rub against my neck. If I have a coat on or something like that, I'll find myself reaching for these shorter styles. But I think this all the best is such a cute wig. Let's look at Henry Margot Jewels. Also, if you're curious about the wig grip that I'm wearing, this is from Wig Studio One. I will link it below also. It's the only one I wear. I, this one has the lace. There's one that does not, that is plain, that I love also. So I wear them both. I interchange them. But what I like is this has the elastic back. I can't wear the wig grips that are Velcro, wide Velcro. They slip right off my head. So these are the only type that work for me, and this one is amazing. Okay, Henry Margot Jewels. I've had this wig for so long. This color is 88GR. Different shades of blonde. So pretty. Look at the rooting on this. Henry Margot does just gorgeous fibers, I think. Now, this one has an extended lace front. There's no mono top. Open wefted. Lots of waves in here. There's a lot of fiber on this wig, which I happen to like as well. Again, easy to wear with all these waves. 
I think wavy wigs are, are really simple to do because you don't need them to be so fixed. They can be messy, which is what a lot of these are meant to be. Not too, too fixed, but more messy. I like that. I'm going to spray it with a little water. You've seen me do it a million times to freshen it up. Separate the fibers a little. I would spray this off my face just a little if I want to get that up and off, or you could steam it. But I kind of like to leave it like this on this wig because sometimes I might want to wear this bang down. This is such an adorable style. Wear it behind your ears, one side forward, one back, both sides behind your ears. There's a little permatees in here, but they're in the top. Like I said, there's a lace front, but there's some permatees in the top actually running throughout all throughout, which gives it this shape and this movement. But you do have the versatility of this one because it has a lace front. Always nice, but isn't that a beautiful, beautiful style? I really do like Henry Margot wigs. I have a lot of them. I enjoy them. I bought this on clearance at Wig Studio One. And by the way, all these wigs are available at Wig Studio One. Be sure to watch that clearance section. They have some great buys over there. All right. Now, you know, I love my Noriko wigs. If you don't like permatees, this is not your wig. However, I like it. So I tend to buy them when I see them. This one, um, my first wig was Noriko, so I've always liked them. This is a basic cap. This is Harlow. The color is Raspberry Ice R. Wow, what a gorgeous color. But it is a basic as they come wig. Lots of permatees here, so just <laughs> letting you know that right off the bat. But look at this color, Raspberry Ice. Again with the reds. Can't get enough of these reds lately. I have really grown my collection of reds for sure. Now what I like about this wig, and I will tell you, is you can wear this. I don't wear it long. It's too long for me. I really do not wear this wig long. However, I would wear this wig and will have worn this wig many times in a low ponytail. It is perfect for that. It has just the right amount of length to get a really nice ponytail in this wig. And so many times I want to wear a ponytail with something. I'll have a, uh, an outfit that I think, okay, especially a casual, maybe has a collar, and I want to have a longer wig with a ponytail, I'll reach for something like this. Now these bangs, again, now this does not have a lace front, so you're not going to be able to steam this off. So I tend to just brush them to the side. I will spray them to get them kind of going how I want them to, and I will just brush them to the side. Now you could wear this if you love long hair, great. This would be perfect. I just find this is a lot for me. I don't really wear it long like this, but it, like I said, ponytail, side ponytail works great with this one. Lots you can do with a longer wig. I just believe that we should keep a few longer styles in our wig wardrobe, just to change it up a little, just, just to have that option of something a little longer. All right, let's move along. That color is just so, so gorgeous. This has such pretty, pretty movement in this wig. Raspberry Ice, they did a good job, I think, on that color. I need to get something a little shorter in that color as well. Now, this wig I discovered last year and I was late to the game. Everybody had already had this wig and been talking about this wig forever. John Renault Marion, I have mine in 12 FS12. And when I got it, I fell in love with it immediately, and I thought, where have I been? <laughs> I was late trying this one, but it's been super popular. It has a temple-to-temple -temple lace front and a mono top, so, of course, you can part it anywhere. And I have worn this wig. I really have. I have enjoyed it. I reach for it often now. Fits me a little large, but it is so another longer style 
that is so nice to have the parting options on this wig. Get it on straight for you. And it has this longer bang. Now you could trim a bang in this wig if you wanted to. To get a straight bang, it would absolutely work with this mono top and this lace front. But this is another, a little, not as long as the one we just looked at, but has a little more length. I can see why everybody likes this wig. You can do so much with this. Pull this off your face, clip it back. I think I have worn this one in a really low ponytail. Yep. Just enough length to do that. And 12FS12, I think it's such a pretty color. To me, the rooting is not too dark. Now, you might not think that. A lot of people, I've heard a lot of conversation about 12FS8 versus 12FS12. I think it's nice. I enjoy it, but I like rooted wigs. So, for me, it's great. But I think it's pretty and a really nice profile. Of course, it's so sleek and just nice and straight if that's what you like. It is certainly a good option. Another one that I didn't discover till later on. Sometimes I'm, <laughs> sometimes it takes me longer because I'm like, well, that might not work for me or be too long for me. And then I will try it and I'm like, why didn't I try this before? This is definitely one of those wigs. This is Aesthetica Mellow. Super popular wig for Aesthetica. My color is R302826. It has a mono, a, mono, a mono part and a lace front. It has an open nape. Look at this color. Oh, so pretty. I love this color. I think it's so pretty with all these different shades in it. I like things that uh, are dimensional. This certainly is. Now, this is what it is. This is not supposed to be fixed. This is supposed to be fun. This is supposed to be messy. Everybody's wearing these uh, beachy waves, right? Now, if you spray yours with some water, that'll help you as well with flyaways. A lot of synthetic hair, as we know, has a lot of flyaways going on. So just spray it with a little water. Separate your fibers just a little. You could also use some sea salt spray, any kind of spray that you would like. I just happen to have some water here. I use water a lot for that. And just fun. Look at these beachy waves on this wig. Again, we should have some of these in our wig wardrobe too that we just love to put on let it be messy. Great for a casual day. I don't think you can go wrong with Mellow. I've seen it reviewed so many times in so many different colors, but I think this R302826, that is a gorgeous red for sure. Let's talk about an Envy piece. This is Envy Sonia. The color is Ginger Cream. Now, as you can see, from these wigs that I wore in January. They're mostly long. I had one short because if I'm wearing in this cooler weather, if I'm wearing a turtleneck or something, I normally will choose something shorter. But with a top like this, I normally go with something a little longer in this cooler weather. Now, when it gets summer down here, I will definitely be wearing a lot more short hair. But I just wanted to show you these because these are some I had worn. This is no bells and whistles here. This is basic cap, no lace front, non-extended nape, but this is a gorgeous style. Look at the movement and the color, ginger cream. Now, again, I enjoy some of these longer styles. This one has a, a cute bang. Now, you could trim this bang if you want it to be shorter. I just like to sweep it over to the side. That works for me. This has a lot of fiber on this hair. There's a lot of movement here. I just use a wide tooth comb. Comb through it just a little. Just fluff it up. I don't want it fixed. I want it to be a little messy. I want to like and enjoy these beautiful waves. This is perfect for an updo. If you're going on a special occasion, 
you could put this in a beautiful clip and wear this off your face, both sides, wear this back half up and half down. Again, there's no lace front here. This is more budget friendly this wig. And, but you could do so, so much with this style. In my opinion, these wigs that are a little longer with these waves just lend themselves to such pretty styling. Okay, one more and we will be done. I don't want to keep you here all day, bore you to death, but I like these little short videos. I hope you do too. If you enjoy these, leave me some comments below. Let me know that these are, this is the kind of video that you enjoy. I like making them. It's something a little different, a little than just wig reviews, so I enjoy that. Raquel Welch Work It. This color is SS Champagne. Yes. Now, look at this top. It is so pretty. Mono top, lace front, has the memory cap. I love a memory cap. I feel like they just eventually mold to your head. I find them very comfortable, that's my opinion. And I think this is a pretty wig. Again, super popular style for Raquel Welch. Been around a long time. I bought this on clearance uh, and I might get this in a red. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. If I can find it on clearance in a red, I'm gonna get it. Again, how sleek. This is a sleek, beautiful style. You can change the part anywhere you want it within that mono top. If you want to part it down the middle, you can part it down the middle. I do not. So you see mine falls over. You might need to stand this down a little to change the part down the middle. You can certainly change it to the other side. Mine is trained to go on the left, so it is not going to be as easy. I would have to train it a little, but that's okay. That's easily done if that's what you like. Mine's trained to go this way because that's how I wear it all the time. <laughs> so again, you could steam it if you wanted, but this is just sleek, sleek, low, the lowest density. I mean, it is super low density. <sighs> wow. Gorgeous Raquel Welch. Again, lots you can do here. Definitely, definitely a good wig to wear in a ponytail. I have braided this one down the front, braided this long piece back. There's so much you can do. Again, with these little bit longer styles, if you don't have any, consider, consider just getting a couple and just wearing them in some updos, wearing them in a ponytail, wearing them in a headband if you're not very comfortable with long hair yet. But just, just try one. I was hesitant and then when I did, I was so glad I did because I find they're versatile and I think they work for a lot of face shapes and I just think there's something we all should have. All right, that's what I have, the wigs I wore in January. Thank you for joining me today. Again, please like and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I post some kind of different wig content every day on Instagram. So I look forward to seeing you over there. Have a good day. See you next time.